What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Live With Purpose live streams. This is your boy, Ron. It's dark as hell. Let me change the lighting real quick. How are you guys doing this fine Wednesday afternoon or evening, I should say? 
How's it going, people? Welcome, welcome to the live stream. I hope you guys are doing well. If it's your first time here, I see a lot of familiar faces. I'm your boy Ron. I cover everyday carry, tech gear, and accessories. And this is the this is the best ever because in a live stream, we really get into it raw in real time. And we talk about gear. We field your questions in real time. Chris Valdez says, hit that like button, people. That's right. That's right. Sensor 226 with the oh my god face. First in the chat. Fook Dussel evening. Mia, how to know? third what's up y'all thank you for coming through thank you for spending this wednesday night with me i hope you guys are doing well what are you guys all carrying tonight uh recently i dropped a leatherman arc video and uh since then i've been on a sort of like a multi-tool tip i have the arc here we can get into it in a little bit about what i thought about it but i also have here the free t2 it's another leatherman tool in the free platform which touts that it can be operated fully one-handed you know what i mean so you can open up the knife like this with one hand you don't have to you know traditionally you have to ply open the pliers and use two hands to get into all the tools but here you could just open it up like this and you have your tools ready to go and then closing it is the same way so we'll dive into all that in a little bit but what are you guys carrying tonight we'll go through the chat and then we got some uh, boxes to unbox, packages to unpackage, and finally we got a we got a sweet little giveaway. We got a sweet little giveaway. How about a, a little sneak peek of, of what it is? Oh, ho, ho. the Data Crew! What a Junior X Pack Gray, the best one of them all. And I decked it out with some custom lanyard work. Okay, this is a one of one, people. We got some snake knot zipper pulls here for the front zip and the clamshell, but uh, it's not just the pouch that you can win. You can win all that too. Oh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> but what's up, people? Barbarian Brawny in the house with the hang loose. How you doing, Mikey? How you doing, dude? Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, coming off uh, the heels of Blade Show Texas. Who went? Who wanted to go? And what did you all pick up? What was your hauls like? What'd you guys bring back? Marco, what's up, Marco? Good to see you. A regular here on the live stream. Fook Dussel. Ian Coates says, gents. What's up, Ian? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. <laughs> everybody is i love when everybody talks to each other that's the best and let me check real quick to make sure all the sound is okay so i noticed that during the last live stream uh there were two sources of music playing and so it was just like two songs playing on top of each other and it was really jarring but the volume was so low that nobody really heard anything so <laughs> let me know if the music's too low too high i want to change it i want to have it so that the music is audible but not overpowering my voice you know what i'm saying so that's that's what I'm aiming for. So please chime in in the chat. Let me know what you think of the volume. <laughs> Chris Valdevs with the hype emotes. Hey, for all you members out there, we put in some, we furnished the chat with some brand new emotes. Go ahead and throw them into your heart's content. We've got quite a few for you to go ahead and play around with in there. Jimenez J says, well, hello there. What's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? How are you? How are you? kaleidoscope of knives says evening everyone oh how does that work a kaleidoscope of knives that must be at least like 16 16 different knives coming around the table is that is that is that tough to look through i don't know ian says where's the music yeah see it's too low huh it's too low in it oh ian coats with the one year remember for one year enthusiast tier level ian Happy anniversary, my brother. Thank you so much for supporting me. Free emotes. They ain't got nothing on a year. A year. There you go, baby. We got we to gotta put something together for all you annuals. Thank you so much for supporting me and helping me do what I do best. I hope you're getting some enjoyment out of this. And as the people's mod, Ian, I know you're in the front seat of it all. So thank you so much, man. <laughs> This is awesome. Chris, uh, Chicken Fried Steak says, Yo, yo, Ronnie Quag Doggins and chat crew. How thanks, EDC ears. What's up, Chicken Fried? How are you doing? How are you doing? I see Chris trying to will into existence his giveaway winnings. He's going to do it. Are you? Are you going to win this time? I really hope so. I really hope so. In order to get that giveaway underway, hit that like button. We got we got our targets 50, y'all. 50 likes, and, and we're going to go ahead. We're already at 30, it looks like. But <laughs> as soon as we get 50... We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this giveaway comment. Space Ghost says hello, everyone. What's up, Space? How are you doing? How are you doing? Tredc78 in the house. Tim, in parentheses. What's up, Tim? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Ian says mods and emotes aside, Ron, I'm just happy to call you friend. Likewise, man. Likewise. Seriously, you've been you've been an anchor in this community for a while now, and 
I'm glad you're here. You grace us with your presence each and every week, man. Broke AZ Knives, Broke Arizona Knives says, my carry is the Max Ace Neptune Tonto, the Six Leaf SL24, the Dip and Twist Mini Dipper, the Cheeto Bandito Forest Tank, and a Sobriety Coin. First of all, congratulations on your sobriety. That's amazing. Um, you know what's funny? I've noticed that, like, you know, uh, I've, I've kind of just, like, distanced myself from alcohol no, like just naturally you know what i mean like i i'm i'm lucky that i didn't have you know like a like a like a life-changing experience that made me kind of turn the corner or anything like that i mean i i i did mess around you know what i mean like uh there there are there are moments in my chapter of, of college life that uh i i pretty sure i could have died easily you know like not not talking about endangering anyone else but i myself it could very well not be here today you know what i mean so and and a big part of that is is because i got a little too crazy uh with the drink so for me honestly and plus like i'm getting older now i got two kids i'm trying to take care of my health and all that stuff so i'm just not i just not drink as much anymore you know maybe once in a while socially but uh you know don't catch me being a hypocrite or anything i will have the like occasional drink but aside from that man like I don't know. Raging just wasn't what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Fook just says, I'm a weird dude. I've never had alcohol. You know what? Good on you, dude. And honestly, just keep it that way. Keep it that way. <laughs> Carl Conti says, I have been following your channel for the past several months. Enjoy your passion. Hey, thank you, Carl. That means a lot to me, honestly. In the sea of YouTube creators, there's lots of people you can watch on YouTube. And I'm very fortunate that you're spending this Wednesday night here with me. So I appreciate you, Carl. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Anyone see the Koki x mike cruise pokemon cartridge re that sounds interesting is that out in the wild or is that like uh unreleased yet that's kind of wild that's kind of wild uh let's see i want to go back to my boy uh where is it where is the big oh what did i just read okay so broke arizona knives i want to hear about this i want to look at this max ace neptune tonto because that sounds kind of awesome neptune tonto what do you like most about the tonto broke arizona knives Okay, am I here now? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ian says he needs my number. Nice try. Yeah, gar I, I see y'all. Give it like 30 seconds. I will see it. <laughs> Lol, amazing, sir. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, anyway, I think I think when I switched, I said uh, uh, Max Ace Neptune looks like an OTF, but it says here that it's a folding knife. So what, what's going on there? Why is that a thing? It's definitely an out the front, right? It's definitely out the front. <laughs> Chicken fried steak said, clueless as a mother, yeah, a little bit. You know, sometimes I just get into it. I'm just really passionate about what we're talking about. So you know what I'm saying? Did somebody text me and say audio? <laughs> Mikey, hey, Barbarian Ronnie, this is how you know your real friends. <laughs> your real friends don't, don't uh, blow you up in the chat. They DM you and go, hey man, 
check your audio. <laughs> okay, did did Broke AZ Knives respond with why he liked the Neptune? Because I'm really curious. It looks cool. It looks solid. It looks like there's like grip panels in the middle here and then it's like milled titanium on the outside and then i mean like i said earlier that y'all didn't hear me this definitely looks like a microtech you know what i mean so this is an out to front and it's categorized as a folding knife. that's not good drop blade dagger blade serrated blade very cool very cool i like it i like it Let's get through here. Yeah, Branch says it's an OTF for sure. Squiddy says my carry right now is a small Sabenza 31 with black micard inlays, ray light pineapple mini, and big eye tie mini click. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Like you've got your knife, you got your pen, you got your uh, flashlight, the big three, right? I mean, wallets these days are interesting because you may not need it anymore because if, it depends on how digital you are. I got myself some. I've got some some reform carry wallets here that I personally use. I have two now. Well, I, I always had two, but uh, I have two on my table because I wanted to show you the differences um, between the two that I'm using. But here we go. It's definitely an OTF. The Max A site is garbage. It says broke Arizona knives. Yeah, a little bit. It took a while to load, I noticed. So I think it's just an optimization issue and then you just really need you just really need, uh, you know, you need you need to stay on top of it. You know what I'm saying? When you upload it with high resolution pictures of all your knives, you got to make sure that it's optimized. Uh, he says the spring is crazy strong and thwacks hard. Space Ghost says thwack is a fun word. Thwack, thwack. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool sound. <laughs> Ian says speaking of CRK, uh, Mikey wants to get a small Incosi. Ooh, Chris Valdez, you hear that? Mikey, Mikey, one of your fellow ambassadors wants a wants a small Incosi, man. Time to hook them up. <laughs> What's up from FedEx Express? Doing my best to keep everyone's packages on time, says Ian Erickson. Hey, Ian, I saw in the in the chat earlier that it's your first time here. Hey, welcome, man. Thank you for coming through and enjoying this live stream and watching it with me. But you're at FedEx Express right now. And you're the reason all my packages come on time. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. I noticed that uh, FedEx especially is always like in the morning slot. You know what I mean? I guess it depends on where you are. But I always see them driving through first thing knocking on the door with some some sick mail calls of which we have a big stack here but awesome dude awesome <laughs> i gotta i gotta go to the chat portion before all of the muted 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 <laughs> oh lord here we go uh barbarian brownie says one year live a purpose memberships already woo woo i posted my i posted my first video a year ago congrats dude it's crazy how far we've come already like and when I look back, I, I kind of don't even want to look back anymore because it's, I started in 2019, believe it or not. My first video was posted sometime in July or August, 2019. And uh, it's nuts, man. It's nuts. It's already 2024. And we're already almost done with February, which is also another nutso thing. Crazy, crazy talk. Branch today has a wee Esprit in all black, Cobra Tech Wolf Tooth, Streamlight Wedge XT, Awesome Hank's Chef Knife Hank, and Big Idea Design ti bolt action pen Hey, big idea designs is like heavy in the pockets today people are digging their big eye stuff and i'm not surprised i'm not surprised at all they make awesome stuff i got um i got their ultim fountain pen not too long ago i ordered it on kickstarter because i wanted it so bad because you know i'm the i'm the ultim dude i'm the i'm the as tri-state would say the piss prince <laughs> is it official that he has that title or is it, or can i can i challenge <laughs> but yeah man awesome stuff and i think the ultim fountain pen is their first in-house um uh, manufactured in the u.s product that they have on their website which is amazing so i think that's coming out uh pretty soon like to the public to the masses you know what i mean branch says peeper plastic yep a little bit a little bit uh miguel asks recommendations for first aid edc well it depends on where you're gonna put this uh first aid kit are you gonna keep it on your person in your car uh, I would say put some essentials in there. You know what I mean? I'm not an EMT. I don't, I'm not specialized in that regard. So for me, first aid is like your standard band-aids, uh, your neosporin, you know, your Vaseline, your petroleum jelly, um, your antiseptics. Um, I don't even have a... I mean, I think I need some work on my first aid kit, honestly, because I don't even think I have a tourniquet or anything like that. But I, I just need to work on it. I need to do some research, figure out what's good to have. Just because I don't want to stuff it with things I'll never use. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, I want to cover a lot of my bases. But 
I'm not preparing for the apocalypse with the first aid kit, you know, and I got kids too. So, you know, your standard scrapes, your bruises, stuff like that. So that's where I would start and then pick a solid EDC pouch to put it all in like this, like this data crew, what a slider that y'all could be winning tonight. You know what I mean? One moon in the house. What's up? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, first time in the live stream. I, I don't recognize your screen name. Do you remember when we used to call each other by our screen names? Is that nuts? <laughs> it's pretty old stuff. Uh, BC powder is a must for my med kit, says Gabe. What is BC powder? Blood clot powder? Is that what that is? I think like I just I just randomly had like a vision of of like some movie I just watched where they poured blood clot powder into it. Ian says, Ron, are you a nine or 45 kind of guy? Are you talking about caliber? Because I'm the highest caliber. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't care. I don't, uh, I don't have some pew pews on me. You know what I mean? So I, I need to figure out, I need to figure that out for myself. But, uh, currently I do not, I do not partake in the pew pews. One moon says I've been in here a few times and seen you on other channels. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support, dude. Thank you for coming through. I apologize. I didn't recognize you at first, but I appreciate your presence here. Nonetheless. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Are we at, what are we at? We had 49 likes already, man. We're just gonna, we're just gonna give this giveaway away and then everybody's gonna peace out after we renounce the winner. Damn. <laughs> Maybe I need to set the bar a little higher. We had 49 likes. We need to set, we need to set the bar higher at like 80 likes or none. Just cause like you guys are, you guys are killing it with the, with the like button. Let's see. Love rocking my Trayvax wallet. Say inspired me or Sai inspired me, says Ian. I haven't tried a Trayvax wallet just yet you talk about talon talon uh talked about it that's good chris says i ain't going nowhere buddy there you go thank god i appreciate you man chris chris we got to link up on uh on anime live stream soon i want to do a <laughs> i want to do a watch party especially since last weekend last weekend didn't have a solo leveling episode conveniently because y'all were at blade texas so now we gotta <laughs> we gotta figure it out okay we have 51 likes Thank you guys so much for being so prompt and so gracious with that like button. I hope you're enjoying this live stream. And uh, if you get the chance, go check out my videos. Talk about everyday carry. You know, I, I have a feeling that some of us, just some of us, not all of us, are, are into are into the everyday carry. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so that said, let's go ahead and 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 set this up. Okay. So, like I said, you guys have the opportunity to win the data crew what a junior so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be queuing up the video that will require your participation all right we're going to be queuing this up and on top of that i want to head to the data crew website because one of the biggest gripes that i've gotten with some of the the gear that i've covered here on this channel uh is that well they're always sold out you know what I mean? And Data Crew, I know they're lean, they're mean, they're a small company, limited drops, and they don't have a lot of inventory, which is fine. That's how I do it with my REs. You know, whenever I have Live With Purpose version 2 REs in stock, they go fast. And I don't carry an inventory, you know what I mean? So I get it. I get it. But people are hyped about these things. People are hyped about these What a Juniors, these EDC pouches to throw their flashlights, their knives, all that stuff, their tools, their bit drivers in here. But they're always sold out of the best colorways, you know what I mean? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit up their website first and see what's up. See what they have right now. And then we'll talk about exactly what you can win. Okay, we got the data website. I wonder if Los is, is lurking in the house right now. I know he's a real busy man, but... They recently released some teas. I know they're going to some soft goods. I like this tea right here. I like this tea in particular. <laughs> this is the Live With Purpose Data Crew collab. If you guys uh, didn't know about this, we got teas, yo. I Yours truly made this design from scratch. I mean, I borrowed the data logo, but other than that, this is all me, people. We got some kunais in here. If you guys enjoy anime, there's that. Uh, we got some hoodies too. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Naturally, you got to do the yellow. You know what I mean? But uh, we, not enough about that. Enough about that. We're going to go to to the pouches. By the way, use code purpose. Save yourself a little bit of money on there. But this is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> the slings, the what a juniors. It's all sold out, bro. It's all sold out. And it's really unfortunate because I know a lot of us want and need a lot of these. The small fries, the old ones, the what a sliders. 
the X packs. It's all it's all gone. So I have no idea when he's gonna restock. So as of right now, to my knowledge, I think the only way you can get one of these is through this giveaway right here, right here. So first of all, shouts out to Data Crew for sending me this pouch to give away. So they are sponsoring this giveaway. Shouts out to Data Crew. You can follow them on Instagram at data underscore crew, I think is what it is. And you can check them out. They're always posting stuff. Uh, and then this website, of course, datacrewla.com. That's where you can find their stuff. You can find our collabs, Everyday Minimalist collab with Data Crew. All that stuff is on there. So check out that website. Uh, mods, if you have the time, go ahead and drop datacrewla.com in the chat for the people. But this is the giveaway, y'all. It's time. It's the Wada Jr. Wada Jr. is the slimmer profile slider, okay? This is, I believe, I believe it's an inch thickness and the Wada sliders are thick with the two inches okay so uh there's differences there depending on what your uh gear is your capacities are different for this but with this one it's more streamlined and honestly i like this one uh compared to the Wada slider because it just it's just neater it keeps its shape really well maybe it's because it is the second third iteration of the pouch they just made improvements to this thing all around so there's that it's clamshell style you can zip it open like this and then as soon as you open it, uh, as soon as you open it, there you go. I got some stuff in there, which I'll go over. You're going to win all of this, by the way. Got some pins. we got a dangle. we got some uh, some Aries. But as soon as you open it, check inside. You know, there's all sorts of pockets. You got a half you got a half size loop feel for your most precious Aries. You got a half pocket, a three quarters pocket, another three quarters pocket, and two half pockets long ways your flashlights your bit drivers all that stuff so that all goes in there ripstop nylon on the inside you got aqua guard zips ykk zips on the outside okay and this one is x-pack gray so x-pack if you didn't know is sail cloth material abrasion resistant water resistant and you know it's gonna keep up with you it's gonna keep your stuff dry so when combined with the aqua guard zippers it's really gonna keep stuff you keep here inside nice and dry okay don't go dunk it in the deep end of a swimming pool or anything but It'll keep you dry. All right, next up are the pouches or the patches. Okay, you're gonna get everything on here. Okay, every single thing on here. All right, we've got the every day, the all day, every day carry data crew monochrome Reaper uh, patch. We've got the stacks, Jordan's elephant print, grayscale, whatever the name is, patch. We've got the air freshener monochrome. You've got the Neo Tokyo the pouch is right you've got the live with purpose blackout v2 that one's a fun one you've got the reaper circular logo you've got the mando best car steel from inky edc and you've also got the squiddy takeout the kraken takeout also from inky edc both in monochrome i just i just love monochrome and the blackout like this this is a looker this is a looker people Ian says it's the Stax Shadow V1. It's called the Shadow V1. Sorry, I offended your Stax holiness. <laughs> it's the Shadow V1, all right? And of course, we tied it all together with some zipper pulls, courtesy of me. We got some paracord in there, some snake knots. So there's no jingle, you know what I mean? Because the YKK zippers, it's really jingly, you know what I'm saying? So this makes it really sleek. I know it sticks out a little bit, but over time, the, the paracord will break in and you'll be able to lay those flat, okay? And then really quickly, that front zipper, nothing in it, but you can easily put like band-aids, challenge goings, anything you want in there. Uh, we mentioned that first aid kit. You can put your like single use Advil tablets in there, whatever. And uh, it, it fits, all fits really well. We also got this Data Crew uh, flight tag. And what's really cool about this is if you can see like sort of the material, sort of sort of satin, shimmers in the light the right way. But also on the back is another loop field. So you can put this on the outside, you can attach this to the outside of your Wada Junior, or you can put it on your backpack or something like that with your top three REs or what have you and rep it on there, which is really cool. And I also swapped out the, the key ring with a night eyes a mini carabiner it's an s beaner i really love these things especially the smaller ones because it just makes it really easy to to hook and unhook uh do what you do what you will with that you can replace it with a regular key range throw that s beaner in the trash whatever you want to do but i really enjoy that so I, I wanted to make this 
one of one, you know, something that I personally would use and would deck out in such a way. And that way you don't have to worry about it. You know, you've already got it kitted. You've got a one of one for you to enjoy. And finally, we've got some pins. We've got the game over flag from data crew. These pins you can put on your backpack and put on your hat, whatever you like. And then we got a pair from loadup.co. This is from my boy, Iman, AKA clog two. He's a dope artist coming out of Singapore. And uh, this is just some like, you know, some hip hop culture inspired artwork good stuff all around so that is that is the entirety of it i i think this is let me see one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight eight i'm gonna say eight that's like 80 90 like 120 uh the the pouch is 70 so 190 and then the three pins is like 30 so this is like i would say this is about 230 dollars worth of edc gear wrapped into one ian says throw a knife in ha 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 that's funny that's funny this thing is literally worth as much as a leatherman arc okay so what you can do is if you want a knife so bad ian you can win this and then just flip it flip it flip it if you want you know for 230 dollars and then you can buy this leatherman arc and it comes with a knife and 19 other tools okay don't be cheeky about it don't be cheeky about it okay <laughs> and you know i hope you like that little that little uh giveaway package there because this is this is honestly fire to me and and look at the color coordination we got the monochrome and then a few standout purple and pink pieces oh come on oh come on who wouldn't want to win this all right so you're probably dying to know how can i win this thing first of all go to this video all right, just recently posted a video about the Leatherman arc and my thoughts on it. Also, I show you how to open the damn thing one-handed because I didn't really know how to do it at first. So you do this. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. Oh God, the, the fumble. I open it, flip it open. Ah, the fumble again. Here you go. Oh, oh, just watch the video, okay? And then, oh God, I, I, you know what it is? It's because I'm trying to show you as I'm doing it. I can do it while in front of me. You know what I mean? Try becoming a an EDC content creator and you'll know what I mean. When you flip a knife, flipping it in front of you is one thing. But then when you try and flip it for the camera, like it's a little more difficult. Okay. So I promise I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I promise I know what I'm doing. Okay. Get out. I'm me with the thumbs down. Okay. I deserve it. I deserve it. Okay. I'm going to put these fingers in here and then I'm going to push this out and then lock it into place okay and then if you want to close it you just push out with your thumb flip it out real fast and then close it all right and that's the one-handed operation and then everything in between all the tools in here just push in here pull it up okay 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 i get it i get it i get it whatever okay all right go to the video all right i'm gonna pin it can i pin it i'm gonna pin this right now oh can i pin it jesus I have the chat popped out, so it doesn't always let me do the thing. Anyway, one of my mods, can you pin, can you pin the, the video link, please? We're gonna pin that video link, go to the video, and you're gonna type in Neo Tokyo, okay? It's Neo Tokyo. It's gonna be like this. All right. Comment Neo Tokyo into Ian says, only I can pin. Okay, I'll figure it out. Comment Neo Tokyo in that video's comments, okay? And that's how I'll know that you're a part of this giveaway crew right now. Type in Neo Tokyo and then tell me one thing that you like or don't like about multi-tools, okay? One thing you like or don't like about multi-tools, all right? If you use one, tell me what you like about it. Tell me uh, the one thing you don't like about the one you have. If you don't use one, tell me why you don't use one. You know, is it not necessary? Do you think it's too expensive for what it is? Do you only need one out of the 20 tools that you would need to buy? So that is a requirement this time, people. Okay. I will be checking your work. Type in Neo Tokyo and also tell me one thing you like or don't like about multi-tools. All right. You need both in order to, to qualify to win. Okay. So go ahead. Type that in. I'll give you some time. Let's do like 10 minutes. And then if you already typed in Neo Tokyo... Don't worry, go ahead and delete that comment and type in the new one. It's okay. You can you can definitely resubmit, okay? Is the bird the word, said Barbarian. 
<laughs> Joe Smith says fumble rooski. <laughs> yeah, fumble rooski, definitely. Oh god. Zero by says looks kind of like a Bali deployment. You know what? I I noticed that like I gravitated towards the Bali deployment. Like I went like this and then clipped it, but you don't really need to do that. Like you could just you could just uh here. Oh my lord. Please. Okay, you could just do this and then flip it out and then clamp it that way you know what i mean you don't have to like do the whole spinny thing i just added that because it's a little flare and it's basically the same amount of work you know what i mean so it's uh it's easy enough okay let me see if i can do this i'm gonna restore the chat uh i'm gonna pin this thing pin message all right the video link is now pinned at the top go to that video link type in the comments of that video neo tokyo okay and i've i can't pin multiple can i i probably can't yeah, I can't. But type in Neo Tokyo as I've typed it out. I'm going to type it out again. Neo Tokyo. Okay. Type it out just like that. Caps don't matter. Go ahead and type that into the comments and tell me one thing you like or dislike about multi tools. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should type all that out. To enter, type Neo Tokyo into the video's comments. And tell me one thing you like or dislike about multi-tools. Both are required. Boom. Okay, that way there's no there's no ambiguity. Okay. You gotta type in Neo Tokyo and tell me one thing you like or dislike about multi-tools. Okay. So speaking of multi-tools, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this Leatherman arc down. Because personally, I feel like it's a little overkill for what I need it for. Because I need I need the basics. You know what I mean? Like scissors are nice. Uh, pliers are nice. Needle nose pliers. Um, the knife is nice. But I'm only using it for opening packages. I'm not using it in any sort of like uh, moist environment or acidic. You know, it doesn't need the corrosion resistance that Magna Cut provides. The only reason why I go for Magna Cut is because, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's an achieve. You know, like it's it's something that. It's something that is coveted as a knife creator and I need to cover the knives in order to pr produce the content. You know what I mean? So if I were to buy a knife for myself, I don't think if if MagnaCon was the only thing that I was paying a premium top dollar for, I don't think I would do that because I personally don't need a corrosion resistance, top of the line, edge retention and toughness. I just need some basic, you know, package opener stuff but i know you guys are different in the chat you know it, everybody's purpose is slightly different so if you do enjoy and partake in the magna cut specifically for its properties its unique strong properties you know i get it and please tell me why i think that would be really cool chime into the chat if you bought a knife specifically for magna cut because you because you've been waiting for a blade seal that can be corrosion resistant tell me what you use it for Tell me what you do. You know, what's your purpose? I think that would be really interesting and exciting to see. I'm going to pop out this chat again. I see people uh, finishing up their, their commenting. Okay, we're going to leave it for a few minutes. Get this thing going. Whoa. What do you have to... What do you have to do to win, says Eric, Ian Erickson. I think I went over that just now. So hopefully by the time... By the time I read that, you already read it. <laughs> Steven Rodriguez says, done. Excellent. I mean, Magna Cut is definitely great. I've never seen the difference in performance firsthand, says Zero. Yeah, I mean, that. I you know what I mean? Like, because uh, a big part of knife ownership is knife maintenance, right? So I've learned about sharpening a knife and how some steels are, quote unquote, hard to sharpen because they're super tough and they're very like hard steel like carbon steels right so it's harder to you know theoretically whittle down a little bit of the surface to get that edge back once you've dulled the knife right so you know i get that what was i where was i going with this where was i going okay so the difference right so yes you know magna cut m390 they're tougher they're better at edge retention but like are we are we splitting at, you know hairs at this point because what do we practically need our knives to do we needed to cut through tape we need to be able to cut white paper when we're testing the sharpness of it so other than you know you know those blade testers where you push down on the wire and it tells you how many like uh how many what is it like pascals or newtons it takes to cut the wire and that's the number that pertains to the sharpness of that knife 
unless we're just trying to get that number as low as possible you know like i'm pretty sure a lot of steals out there can get the job done d2 you know s90v you know all that s35vn like you can we can go back and forth about on it all day but you know at the end of the day most of it gets it done it just it's just a matter of I'm, I'm not even gonna go and say it's a matter of pride i think it's more like what you like you know what i mean because it's not just about the blade steel it's still you know like an aesthetics thing like you know which which knife looks better which knife looks better right which one would you pick would you pick the emp edc nimble t m390 or would you pick the vosti thunderbird l max steel okay and i mean i can't think of the the dollar amounts off the top of my head but would would it all of a sudden change your mind if like you were saying okay i'm, I'm gonna pick an l max steel blade versus an m390 steel blade chris valdez says the one in black see there you go <laughs> there you go it doesn't even matter we're talking about we're talking about uh we're talking about blade steels and and tech specs but chris is gonna go out on a limb here and get shamed by all the all the blade nerds in the chat and say he just wants the one in black done done <laughs> see we got some thunderbirds in the chat we got some nimbles in the chat so you know at the end of the day i think everyone's got a flavor and uh it's all a good time ian code says i remember when ron didn't know shit about knives now he's arguing edge retention hey i've come a long way i better know something i better know something after having attended three blade shows in 2023 and and been an edc content creator for five years i think i think uh i need to know a little bit about some some you know <laughs> Barbarian Brownie says, I wanted the arc, but I'm so poor, so I got the Leatherman Signal and carry a Magna Cateca. There you go. Done. So you got the best of both worlds, right? You got a multi-tool that that is way more appropriate for the price point, and you're supplementing that with a Magna Cut Deca. Done. Right? Speaking of Leathermans that are more bang for your buck, I've got the free T2. Okay. And now here's the thing: like, I'm I I just happen to have it. And so I'm putting it in the pockets and seeing what $160 Leatherman free feels like versus a 230 leatherman free which is the the leatherman arc right it's built on the free platform so this one has 20 tools this one has like six right and i know it's not all about the numbers but it's also about the specific tools that are included in here so in this free t2 we've got the knife which is hollow ground by the way which is pretty cool to see in a leatherman knife um or in a knife in general because you don't you don't see that all too often on the lower end uh but you know you've got a pry a slotted a slotted head screwdriver you've got a phillips head driver you've got what looks like a pry slash an all okay and that's pretty much it like and you could argue that those are all very useful but then in the leatherman arc you know you got files you've got saws you've got both precision and full-size bit drivers with interchangeable bits mind you and it comes with like 10 bits in torx in phillips in slotted you know it comes with i said files uh it comes with scissors which is a boon you know what i mean to have just in your pocket super handy like that right so there you have it right like what's the ratio of tools that you, you 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 do use versus the tools that you don't and does it have any deal breakers like does it have certain tools that you use all the time if it doesn't maybe that's a deal breaker because even though you could say oh like out of the 20 tools i reasonably use 16 of them but it doesn't have the one tool you use 90 percent of the time well there you go that's that's a big difference ian erickson says ron do a video about the leatherman micro as soon as i get my hands on one sure <laughs> sure uh, Miguel says I have an S35 BN Zon. Is that steel good? See, here's the thing. I think the fact that you have a Zon is probably more more of a talking point than the fact that it's S35 BN. You know what I mean? But as far as blade seals go, S35 BN is perfect. It's fine. Uh, let's see. T Tim says he has a couple of Leathermen and never carry them. I do carry my Sog PowerPoint. Okay, we're gonna excuse me. We're gonna take a field trip, okay? Because multiple people, I know Mia Haruno in the chat has mentioned the Sog PowerPoint and powerpoint powerpoint and and now you tim so we're gonna go check this out right now okay and then we're gonna do the giveaway draw when we come back but look at this thing it's 50 dollars, okay and it's also not available on the sog website oh i didn't know it was it was uh studies and observations group i didn't know that was what that was called but okay let's look at this thing 
It's small. Smaller. It's got 18 tools. Compound leverage. That's interesting. Uh, where are the tech specs? Are the features... The... Oh, I guess I just missed it. It's not discontinued. Where are the tools? Does it say? Oh, it's all right here. Duh. What am I doing? So, it's got... A stainless steel blade steel. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, it's got an all. It's got a can opener, a gripper, needle nose pliers, a protractor, which isn't in the arc. Scissors, straight edge blade, uh, jewelry driver. So I'm assuming that's a precision driver. Soft wire cutter, okay. Three sided file, okay. Bottle opener, okay. Full serrated blade, hard wire cutter, okay. Oh, that's another thing. This thing, there was a hot debate in the multi tool community about this. Uh, what, what you call this thing? Um, the hard wire cutter. Like, if you open this up and then you look where the wire cutters are, I don't know if you can see it, but like, there's a gap at the base, at the base of where the wire cutters end. And although the wire cutters are replaceable, that gap has been pissing a lot of people off. Like, people are testing, uh, the Leatherman arc and trying to cut a coat hanger with it. I didn't personally test this because, uh, I don't know. I, there was plenty of tests on, on YouTube about that, but, uh, is cutting a coat hanger a thing with wire cutters like that's the test like how blades and paper like coat hanger is what we're measuring the metric on because i know like a lot of people who did that said that previous iterations of uh, leatherman multi-tools like the wave plus and all that stuff they can cut it just fine with the wire cutters so why not these and these like shattered and broke uh, when they tried to do it because of that gap so right fuktuso says i don't need to cut a lot of coat hangers right exactly so I know I, I wouldn't personally go out and say I cut coat hangers for a living, but like, is that the test? And okay, so copper wire, is that is that like equivalent density and hardness? Because maybe, I mean, I, I'm not an electrician, so I don't know. I don't know if that's what that is, but is that sort of like the, what it equates to? EDC Knife Until Trevor in the house says, sup everybody, what's up Trev? Good to see you, man good to see you so and kathleen says the old micros were good for what they were but the new ones aren't as good okay and then folk says no they're not equivalents the copper wire to coat hanger test so why is that a, then a test you know what i mean just because old leatherman tools could and now this new one can't so it's, it's all of a sudden not as good so i don't know small uh slotted screwdriver Hex bit driver, line cutter. Okay, ruler. Okay, I think the the Leatherman arc does not have a ruler. So there are a few tools here in the in the power pint that the Leatherman doesn't have. But oh man, this dude is like missing part of his finger. That's crazy. And it's like bandaged. Did he just lose that finger? Did you? Are you seeing this? That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So the power pint seems like. For 50 bucks, I mean, I know Leatherman has prestige and reputation behind their tools, so it's interesting. Jason Cable says, I'm not an electrician, brings an interesting question. What, what, what we should be asking is what do people do job-wise and everyday-wise and what do they carry and use? Yes, this is a good point. So when I said that I'm not an electrician, that, that just means that I don't have the requisite knowledge to speak on cutting um, wire and what that means in a practical context or what density or hardness these wires and cables uh, typically are to then put the, the wire cutters to the test, right? So obviously, you know, you don't need to be an electrician to know stuff about electricity and, and circuitry and, and cutting stuff. I was just putting it out there that I didn't, I don't have that knowledge, so I can't speak on it. But you're right. We should definitely approach it from a, a practical scenario like use, right? Uh, while you guys debate about that, I'm gonna go ahead and check on the giveaway. I haven't forgotten. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this in a second. I just gonna make sure there's a healthy amount of people, and we're gonna do the damn thing, as Taylor Best Damn EDC would say. We're gonna do the damn thing. Uh, mm. This Wednesday has been fun. I've been I've been hard editing. Like just before this live stream, I was editing some 
some contents. What am I doing? Share. Okay. Copy. We're doing it, people. I'm going to go ahead and check. Keyword. Neo Tokyo. Go ahead. We got 51 comments. Excellent. Okay. I think we're good to go. Uh, Let's see. We're going to reload this. Switch over. YouTube random comment picker. All right. This is what we're doing. Klein D2000 pliers for the win, says Miguel. Mm. So uh, the reason why I know the Klein name is because I was trying to like hardwire my LAN cable from the other room, which is where the router resides. And I went through the walls to have a hard line to this room so that I could have good speed for live streams and just a good internet connection overall. And Klein Tools has this awesome like, uh, like uh, LAN cable uh crimper where it like aligns all the little cables together and you know you can't do it by hand you could do it by hand but it's like really cumbersome right so klein offered one of those like crimpers that allows you to crimp land tools or land cables together so i know them from that but i didn't actually buy it <laughs> i just ended up like buying some pre pre uh pre-assembled lengths of land cable and just piece it together Trouble 1200 says, I've had the power pine for about six months. Great in pocket size and has the tools for everyday needs. That's a great review. Cat6 cables, yes. Ethernet cables, yes. I don't know why I said LAN cables. You're right. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw this thing right now so you guys uh, can figure out what, who, what you're gonna do with your new pouch, okay? So we're gonna post in the video link here. All right, we're gonna fetch. We're gonna go keyword filter. We're gonna go Neo Tokyo, okay? And then we're gonna go continue. We're gonna load up 51 comments. We're drawing it right now. Ichoi PP2FG says Neo Tokyo for the dub. Love multi tools because so many uses and eliminates bulk from time to time. Love the content, Ron. Hey, Ichoi, are you in the house? Ichoi, are you in the chat? Because you just won. You just won $230 worth of worth of EDC pouch goodness, sir. Ichoi, Ichoi. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Save as. We're gonna save this thing. Ichoi, Ichoi, are you in the house? Ichoi, congratulations. Mia says, congrats. Easy. What is that? <laughs> is he here? I can't even, I didn't even see him. Each. If I'm doing, if I know I'm doing any wiring, says Fook Dussel, either electrical or networking, I carry tools and don't use my multi. Okay, there's another question too then. Like, a multi-tool to me is like a stopgap. You know, it has a lot of tools that'll get you a good enough ways down the line in, in completing that operation. But it's not, uh, it's by far and away the most specialized tool for every scenario, right? So if you're in the profession and if you're doing any sort of like hardcore wiring or anything like that, uh then you know what i'm saying uh it's oh here we go um fuktusa says e easy e45 is e choy <laughs> okay <laughs> okay awesome okay if all right, all right all right i see you i see you easy e congratulations man okay so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna dm me at live with purpose edc on instagram okay at live with purpose edc on, on instagram dm me and then uh, i'm gonna go ahead and verify your identity on here so i make sure you are you and then i'm gonna go ahead and get you set up with the shipping details and get that sent out to you all right so congratulations easy -E. you just you're a proud you're a proud owner of of all that of all that do you collect re's or have an edc pouch by any means because i feel like this is a great starter kit you know what i'm saying so congratulations to you I would love to to hear what you're gonna end up putting in that thing. So, uh, let's see. Trouble twelve hundred says relatively new to your channel. Have you reviewed Open Sea Leather wallets? Already have two and not disappointed. I have a few Open Sea Leather wallets in the rotation, and I love them. They're very comfortable. They're very supple. Very nicely patinaed after some use. Um, there are some limitations in terms of how many you know cards and how many bills of cash you can put in it, but. Um, I really enjoy it. You know, the uh, the quality is there. They're made like they're handmade, right? And so I, I really enjoy it. They're they're good stuff. 
it's just an aesthetic thing. You know what I mean? Because for me personally, if you look at uh, videos on my channel, I'm very much about like the minimalist modern aesthetic with like monochrome vibes, blackout, minimal vibes. But um, others on the channel, for example, if you check out Barbarian Brawny Mikey's channel or EDC Knife and Tool Trevor's channel uh, over here on Instagram or YouTube, they're very, they're more rustic. You know what I mean? Like they like the leathers. They like the patinas. They're their photos and videos are gritty and very complex and there's levels to it you know what i mean which is an amazing aesthetic in and of its own right it's just the not, not the aesthetic that i gravitate towards so i definitely see open sea leather as being uh more towards the latter uh aesthetic than what i'm usually into because i'm into like these you know what i'm saying like look at this this is the reform carry o2 card holder and it's literally uh, a piece of hypalon material with magnets right so when you close it it makes a satisfying click and it holds like eight cards a bill of cash and that's it you know what i'm saying mtz blade says what up ron please do a video on fiddleback forge what is fiddleback forge am i gonna get trolled if i open up a, a google search let's see ga for winner is e choi easy e what's up man congratulations and then i'm gonna go ahead and save this i gotta i gotta keep records of all the winnings you know what i'm saying so I don't mix, I don't confuse anybody. But here we go. We're gonna do Fiddleback Forge. Sounds cool. Fiddleback Forge Knives by Andy Roy. Andy Roy, are you in house? Fiddleback University knife making class. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. So is this like a B2B? Like they teach other they teach enthusiasts how to make knives so they could sell their own knives or or it's like a or it's like one offering and then they sell their own knives new knives weekly so i guess they sell stuff on knifeoutpost.com whoa that's intense got some fixed blade knives oh that's all they do yeah I, i'm not gonna lie like i don't have much purpose with fixed blades i, I literally can't carry legally carry a fixed blade where i live I'd have to carry it openly or I would have to not carry it. So, and you know, I, I have a, I have a fixed blade that I'm messing around with, but in the confines of my own home, you know what I mean? Like I'm using it to open packages, which is a great time, great aesthetic, great, uh, great feedback. But as far as practicality goes, it's not the best for me, for me, for what I need it for. Daily Carry Co. makes a really great wallet, says Carl Conti. Let's check it out uh trev says thanks ron not sure i'm on the same level as brawny but i'll take it dude you both are very talented motherfuckers you guys are very talented you guys are very talented don't uh don't don't dismiss your your skills you guys have you guys definitely know your way around a camera and editing and all that stuff okay so. here i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all right now i'm gonna do a little a little show off right now of you guys instagram <laughs> Instagram. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, EDC knife and tool. Trevor, look at this. Look at this man. Look at these shots, bro. Like you got the props. You got the like, the sea ropes. <laughs> Obviously, I can't pull this off. Like I can't. I don't even know what I'm doing. If you were to tell me to take a rustic photo. Like, look at this. You got the tats. You got the Monterey Watch Company watch. Let's go. Coffee beans. You've got the aesthetic, man. You got the real plants. The, like, the, like, tradesman dirty hands. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you you use your stuff. You got the bailout. You got the nice guy machine company. Uh, Pry, the lady. Is that the lady? No, that's the side piece, right? Excellent. Excelente. Look at this fool. You got the pocket filth. Look at this fool. And then we're going to check out Barbarian Brawnies over here. Barbarian. Mike has got some talent, bro. Look at this. You've got the wispy wisps. That's crazy. Is the candle on fire or is the knife on fire? You tell me. You tell me, guys. Like, look at that. Oof. Look at that. Look at the angular shot, man. See, 
this is this is the thing with like rustic pieces y'all got wood lying around that you could just like stab the knife in and get a dope shot i don't want to do that to my tables i don't want to put the holes in there you know what i'm saying so that's why i can't take this shot i need like a plank of wood that i can do that with that before but look look at the light play he's even underlaid giveaway under this like through the knife look at this thing sheesh this is actually mad skill look at this the macro shots it really shows off your knives in a whole new light this is the the deca magna cut he's talking about i think look at this so clean so clean see i i would know my way around these shots Fook Deuces is LOL. Those are impressive. I throw random picks on Insta and my photography skills are on par with a four, on par with a four year old. I'm sure you're better than that. I'm sure you're better than that. MTZ Blade says, seems like everyone is rocking fixed blades. Yeah, I think it's been all the rage since like Q3 of 2023 and it's carried into 2024. So I think that's what it's going to be. And unfortunately, I won't be able to like be at the forefront uh, of that trend but uh it's still very cool stuff you know what i realized an hour has passed and i haven't even opened a single package this is how carried away we get on the live streams okay oh really quickly you compare this stuff to like my feed like what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing i'm taking apart knives i'm taking pictures of chairs i've taken a, a picture of a mess like i'm i'm lighting a knife and that's it it's not even open like See, this is the fixed blade I was talking about. Oh, it's a real. Damn it. Um, this one. This is the auxiliary manufacturing pocket Bowie. Like, I got one in my face. Like, what? <laughs> what is happening? Like, look at this mess. No good, bro. No good. Mia Haruna says, awesome work to a Barbarian Brani and EDC Knife and Tool. Much deserved. Much deserved. But here we go. We're going to open some packages. I got here the Vossi Thunderbird. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hide this giveaway thing because we already did that. We already did that. Uh, where is that text? Here we go. Boop. All right. We're going to crack this open. We got one package right here. A big one. This is from Orbit Key. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we got... Oh, we got some new key organizers. This is interesting. All right. Check these. So they look like regular key organizers, right? But these are actually their hybrid line. And what's interesting about these is that the flagship or orbit key. Oh, cool. They got a new package design as well. Look, this thing just opens and it's in there as opposed to like having a slide. So they used to have like packaging made out, made out of just like recyclable paper. But this is a little bit. This is a next step up kind of thing. But anyway, uh, key organizers, you know, you can put two to seven keys, throw them in there and uh Take the jingle out of your keys organize them however you see fit but what's cool about this one is that it's a hybrid so on the outside you've got the leather but on the inside it's tpu polymer which is very resilient and much much stronger than uh you know typical leather is when it comes to just being abrasion resistant and lasting longer it doesn't patina doesn't have that awesome rustic look but uh it is performance driven right and so historically orbit key has only ever made leather organizers or tpu polymer organizers i have it somewhere i think it's over there but anyway uh but never together so uh what was really cool about the tpu polymer is that it costs half as much it's a 22 dollars for a tpu polymer key organizer and that's honestly my top pick uh, whereas the flagships are more like $43, $50, that kind of thing. But now this one is a hybrid. Uh, let me check the price on these. I got to figure that out. But uh, this one gives you the patina capabilities and looks of the leather. Got to get it in a little purposely yellow. But uh, on the underside, on the interior is TPU polymer so that the keys don't scratch the hell out of the, the leather strap over time and kind of do some damage in that regard. Uh, let's see hybrid organizer. Let's see how much those are. They are $29.90. So that's only seven dollars more than the full TPU Palmer and you get like the awesome leather uh, Exterior, so it's cool. Barbarian Brian says you're too kind. You're much too kind. No worries, dude You deserve it, dude. You guys are skilled people gotta gotta highlight y'all when uh, it calls for it You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so that's the Orbit Key Key Organizer Hybrid Edition. We've got the yellow for the liver purpose and the pink, 
Just because, you know, we're gonna do something different. Can't do black out everything. Gotta try all the different colors. So that's in the first package. Got another one right here. This one, I believe, is from Vosteed. So, ironic that we have the Vosteed Thunderbird here, but we're gonna go ahead and crack this open. And this is one of those packages that has the pull, the pull so I don't have to use a knife, but I want to. <laughs> but I want to, you know what I mean? All right, Vosteed, Vosteed Cutlery. We're gonna open this up. This is the Mini Labrador. What does that look like? Let's find out. Let's find out. We're gonna open this thing up. You know what's funny? Every knife comes with one of these, like one of these half circle knife pockets. I have like 50 of these and it's rather insane. Uh, Jason Cable says, I don't carry enough keys for those, but I wish I did. How many keys do you carry? One or zero? Honestly, I wish I didn't have to carry keys. Like, I know that, I know, like, uh, padlocks now have, or not padlocks, but, like, door locks now have those digital ones where it's just a keypad and you just punch in your code and you can get in. So, you know, if my house had one of those, I'd be using that all day. But, unfortunately, I still got some keys on me. This is the Mini Labrador. It's actually really cool. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip that. It's a little guy. It's Mini Labrador indeed. A little puppy i wonder what the labrador like the full-size labrador looks like but this is a little puppy guy it's 14 c 28 n does the job you know what i mean it's not at the forefront of blade steel technologies but this is a this is a budget dude and i think i think it comes in under 50 but you know what i'm saying is it a frame lock get out of here it's a frame lock guys it's a frame lock. How cool is that? A budget frame lock. Got a little lanyard hole in the bottom. I don't know if it's big enough for like a standard lanyard hole. You know, I don't know if it's big enough for a standard standard 550 pound uh, paracord lanyard. I think you would need to go smaller. But it is a mini. Kathleen says, I like the mini Labrador. Yeah, it's a nice looking knife. Says Mia. Yeah. And you know, it's a standard drop point. Real sleek lines. Come on, my eyes are not in view. You should be able to zoom in on this. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Carl Conti says, I like it. I do. I do. Uh, I should have jumped on that knife, but I'm saving for Blade Atlanta, says Jason. There you go. There you go. Priorities. Blade Atlanta is not quite around the corner, but it's the next big thing now that uh, Blade... Actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm not aware of any other uh, like knife shows, and I'm sure there are a lot... Uh, and I don't have that in my mind right now uh, as an editorial calendar. So I'm sure there are other shows out there. But as far as Blade Show goes, Texas is in the rear view. So Atlanta is the next uh, show of the Blade Show series coming out, I think, in June. So I'm going to try and be there. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but I, actually, it's a ton of fun. It's a thousand exhibitors showing off the latest and greatest. So it's going to be crazy. Let's see. Uh Fugdus says, start talking up those knife pouches like they're premium and then give them away. <laughs> hey, I'm going to give them away regardless, you know, and I'll, I'll give away the knife that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as pre premium goes, I can't get behind it. There's reverse coil zippers, you know, you've got some padding, but you can definitely feel like the cardboardness of it. And, uh, but they're not selling the knife case. They're selling the knife. You know, this is just a, a formality, right? They're doing it because everybody else does it. Yes. Yes. <sighs> What are we doing now? What are we doing now? I'm definitely going to the pit this time around. So stoked, says Jason. Dude, the pit was nuts. The pit was absolutely garbage insane. Like, there were drinks. There were there was food. There was just everybody hung out in the pit. So the pit, for those who don't know, Blade Atlanta takes place uh, in a convention hall, right, in Atlanta. And what happens is there's a hotel that's connected to said convention center. And so usually what happens is all the attendees, exhibitors of Blade Atlanta, if they can, they're going to book out that hotel because it's right there. It's walking. You wake up, crawl out of bed, get downstairs and walk over to the hall and you're in Blade show. Right. So at the end of the show, each night, the, the show closes at 5 p.m., 6 p.m., whatever that is. And when it does, everyone just piles into the pit to socialize, to talk knives, to talk with exhibitors, dealers, enthusiasts who enjoy the craft, who enjoy knives. And it's great. That was where I met Ben Belkin of Jack Wolf Knives. That was where I, I met, 
well, not where I met, but that's where I also had a conversation with Peter McKinnon, like basically my, uh, my inspiration to join YouTube and to, to start making videos and a whole slew of other people. That's where, you know, me and the homies gathered after blade show to just chat about what the hell we all got that day and saw that day. And it was, it was a mad good time. So, oh my goodness. I almost cut the thing that was in here. <laughs> We got another package from Orbit Key this time. This is a pencil case. Now, this is actually a lot bigger than I expected it to be, but I understand why because I've got some long pencils here, markers, that this would be perfect for, that other pencil cases that I have right now are too short for. So, boom, right there in that terracotta goodness. <laughs> is it actually called terracotta? Is there a color? There's no color. Anyway, oh no, it is terracotta, yes. Terracotta pencil case from Orbit Key. And I've also got this like pen tricking baton thing and it fits, it, no, it doesn't fit. Oh, it, it does, it does fit, boom. Leave it to me to put like a pen fidget in a pencil case, but there's that. And then you know, the whole slew of other markers that I use to like uh, color code my journal I journal I try and journal daily and just kind of like write down my thoughts my tasks my to-dos my reflections on the day just to be a better human you know what I mean so all that this is my current pencil case okay you know it's like a dollar I got it from from Daiso which is like a budget like Japanese goods place and it's it's really I mean it's aesthetic isn't it it's got the mesh it's translucent it's got all my pens in it but this is the one in question this long one here so that fits in there just fine. It's a dual headed Tombow brush pen. I use it to color code my journals, like I said. And so that's a pretty solid pickup, at least for my like larger, like productively loadout. It's pretty cool. How many of y'all use pencil cases? <laughs> I know it's a little niche. I know it's a little niche, but I try and still, you know, not do everything digital. I do some analog stuff. I do some digital stuff. So it's gonna be sick. Uh, am I missing something? I'm missing something. I'm missing some chats. Uh, Chris says, I skipped the pit because I'm old and that shit is too crazy. That's what I hear, Chris. I, I went to the, I went to the pit, but I didn't stay. Like I, I hung out for a good, like two hours. And then like, I started getting tired and hungry. And especially cause I, it was like a full day of filming and like talking with brands and, and everybody coming up to me. So I was just like, uh, I'm gonna get some sleep cause I have to edit and, and get some rest for day two. But I hear she goes off in the pit, like lots of degenerate debauchery, <laughs> but good and fun debauchery. You know what I mean? <laughs> what lanyard bead do you recommend for my Zon says Miguel Escobedo. What's your style? That's the first question. Lanyard beads for me, I really enjoy uh, 4T5 design. They've got some awesome like Phoenix carrier. Oh no, that's combat beads. 4T5 design has some good turbo glow stuff. Combat beads make some great like multi-piece beads that that um, you can like slot in beads in a carrier and have that whole thing be on a lanyard. It's pretty sick. Honestly, that's pretty sick. So uh, I recommend those two brands, uh, Workerman. Uh, w R K R M N. They make some awesome like ghost beads. I don't have anything in front of me right now, but uh, I would start there. Really cool stuff. That's just my style though. So it depends on what you like, like what materials you like. You know, oh Yoshizaki. That's like very uh, that's very uh, limited drop rare stuff. You can ask Ian Coates all about Yoshi's, <laughs> but it's some good stuff. Uh, for me, that's my style. But if you're into, you know micarta resin beads if you're into ultim beads titanium zerk beads you know all that stuff there's there's so many flavors out there so you're gonna have to really check it for yourself uh what's up Bar? <laughs> are we talking ages now the college tier pencil case says jason yes quite quite the college tier <laughs> chris is 36 I'm trying to dox my boy i'm uh i'm turning 35 this year so we, we about there. Barbarian Brawny, you and me, we're the same age. Sick. Apparently this year I'm going to become a stick in the mud then. Currently 35, says Ian. We're the same age too. Fook Dusel says, damn, if 36 is old here, I'm out. Nah, man, all ages are welcome. Y'all are all welcome here. I don't, I don't, I, there's no ageism here in this chat. All right. We all good. And I, and you know what? 
there are perks to being ancient as shy town edc says it there are perks to being ancient you know you got a lot of experience you got a lot of knowledge that you can impart on us on us young heads <laughs> oh so funny we're, we're good i got some more stuff uh, i got this package it's kind of unmarked though i don't know who who it's from i have an idea of might it, what it might be but can't know for sure until i open it we got a package from nabilis so nabilis if you guys don't know is a valley song brand and outside of benchmade and squid industries i've never really messed around with another valley song brand and so they told me they wanted to send out a valley song trainer for me to check out and i appreciate that nabilis thanks for sending this out but okay there's a lot of parts in here we got some washers we got some screws we got some we've got a a bit and um this is the i believe this is called the canyon it's their latest bally song trainer jason cable says love the nabilis volp yes i hear great things about the volp i haven't tried the volp personally oh okay we got more we got more whoa look <laughs> I, at first i thought it was a wrench tipped bally song i was like wait a minute something's off about this <laughs> something something is off about this now here's the predicament this this knife is taped but i need a knife to cut the tape what do i do the paradox of modern everyday carry <laughs> what do you do what do you do Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, a lot of gunk on this on this blade. Gonna have to get that gonna get get the knife shield on it. But it looks like a live blade, does it not? But it's a false edge blade. I ain't messing around with I ain't messing around with the with live blade bally songs, but this is Boom. The Nabilis Canyon. Kind of looks cool. I like the I like the speed holes. The frame looks pretty dope. And then you've got like the ends here. The side looks like that. And then the blade itself looks really cool. Like that shape. It reminds me of like a like a what is it called? Like a like a swashbuckling sword. <laughs> like a, I don't know what it's called, but look at that thing. That looks sick. And it's big, too. Like, it's full size for sure. April is the best, best month, says uh, Barbarian Brawny. Is it because your birthday's in April? <laughs> Mine's in May. Jason Cable says, clean Y2K there, Ron. Thank you. Thank you. I've been practicing, man. I, <laughs> I've been practicing. I've got so many dents on my table over there. I, I ain't even going to pretend. But it's been fun, man. And the hand dexterity thing is, is a good plus. You know what I mean? Like, I need to learn more tricks. I was learning more tricks. I think out in Blade West, I had a lot of, like, random time. So I was just, like, practicing, standing over my bed, just practicing. Oh, no. Are we lagging? What's happening here? What's happening here? But anyway, it's good stuff, man. It's really fun. 6.13. I'm going to open some more packages, and then we're going to call it, guys. We're going to call it, guys. Let's see. Let's open this right here. I think this is another boss deed. We got another Vosteed here this time. I believe this will be in the Piss Plastic variety. Adventure Man in the house says, what's going on, everyone? What's up, Adventure Man? How you doing, dude? Thank you for coming through. Yeah, Fuktusa says, I've got some lag there. Yeah, I, I got a notice here that I'm getting some hiccups. I wonder why. I'm literally hard lying. That's unfortunate. Uh, hmm. I'm going to do a speed test real quick just to get some some more exposition on why the hell this is happening. Oh, God. What the heck? This is bad. Ian Co says, who won the gaw? Mr. E. Choi won the gaw. Oh, my God. I'm sorry about the, the speed, y'all. This is bad. Oh, but we're getting like 26 megabyte upload or megabits upload. Okay. 
We got the Vosti Corgi Pup. Button lock. Look at that. Another solid draw point. We've got some textured Ultim scales. And then, of course, we got that button lock here. I can't show you this this angle, but you press it, it comes right down. Really solid. You've got the back flip. You've got the oh no. Uh front flip. Please. The front flip. And then I think you can just hold the button down, flick it out. Fun stuff. Another budget beater. I like it. And it's of the piss a piss plastic variety. That's what I love. That's what I love. Easy E45. Lurking, almost feeling guilty that he won, but unapologetic, bro. You won. Enjoy that thing. Did you did you DM me yet? Just want to make sure I have you before before we sign off on this. Okay, Ichoi, I got you, man. I got you. All right, and then this last one, this last package, I think you guys will enjoy. So right now, as it stands, I've got quite a bit of re's and i just don't have room in my pa in my like binder anymore so we got a one tigress we got a one tigress re book open this up i was debating on whether i was gonna get this one or the brown one but i decided to get another black one just because i know eventually i'm gonna have like 20 of these and i don't want to have like aesthetics differences but here we're gonna go through the collection real quick we got the page one. Oh, got some some liver purpose re's there <laughs> we've got the the castle x grayscale page i need to organize it lately my organization has been crazy because i've been running out of room and i don't know where to put things so this is the data crew slash i got a bunch i got a bunch it's everywhere it's everywhere dude we got this page. And then this is the back page. Got some load up co. Got some Pokemon. Any REs you want from that? <laughs> Any REs you want from that? I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are. But for now, I just got to focus on my collection. Anyone have the Kaiser Militaw? Ask each hoy. Let me see. Militaw from Kaiser. I do not have it, but are you thinking about getting it? That looks kind of cool. S35VN 3.25 inch blade, titanium handle. It looks all right. What do you like about it? It's got an, a generous flipper hole. It's got inlaid micarta. What do you like about it? Awesome patch collection, Ron. Thanks, Mia. I've been working on it for years. <laughs> and uh, and a lot of money dumped into it. <laughs> Easy -E picked up the Vosti Raccoon C uh, CB. Lock in blue, my card. I love it. Nice. I got your DM, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get you hooked up. Joe Smith's hits 40 this year. I'm okay with being washed, man. You're a G, Joe. You're, you're always welcome here, my bro. Fook is 47 in April. There you go. I'm 35 in May. But my daughter's born in April. So I got a soft spot for, for you Aprilers out there. <laughs> Perks like tearing the meniscus of my knee by doing nothing, says Fook <laughs> Damn, is that what I have to look forward to? God, man. I'm working on my, like, flexibility right now. I'm working on... I'm working on it, like, opening my hips. You know what I mean? Like, I'm... I'm not, like well oiled in any means <laughs> by any means i really have to work on that but i mean living with purpose right so you got to make sure that, like all the all the aspects of your life are taken care of you know what i mean you got your health you got your fitness you've got your family you've got your work you've got your hobbies and you know we here in the chat focus on hobbies just a little more just a little more but uh it's all good fun and as long as you take care of your bases you're all set you're living with purpose you know what i mean Easy E says Ron's patch game is on another level. Not really, man. I only have that much, but like if you go into like real collectors, like oof, man. There's some crazy people willing to dump some crazy money into some patches out there. You know what I mean? Like my Castle X Grayscale collection is not anywhere near where I want it to be. Mike and ICDC says, Ron, if you want to sell or give away any of the CXG, let me know, sir. I know you know. I know you know, man. Of course you do. 
we'll see there's some gear i'm eyeing you know for like photography videography so you know if i need funds i may have to part ways with some of my coveted cxg stuff so i'll uh, i'll make sure you're one of the first aaron ian erickson says he's turning 26 this year shouts out to you congrats survived another year in, in this cold world <laughs> but you hear both ians are from missouri let's go let's go Oh, not no, Missouri, Michigan. What am I saying? <laughs> Michigan. What am I saying? Obviously, I've, I haven't been to either place. <laughs> the ignorance. The ignorance is high. Tri-State did a video of the 4D $400 custom knife that someone sent him for review. That price range breaks my brain. No, sh yeah, seriously, right? There are so many things I would spend $4,400 on before I would spend on a custom knife. Okay, quote me on that. February 28, 2024. Uh, where where I'm at in my uh, knife journey, okay? And uh, and uh, this is just me now. I'll bet in a year, I'll be like, yeah, I, I spent $2,000 on a knife. Hell yeah. <laughs> right now, I think the most expensive knife I'm willing to buy is like a Koenig Arius, like a mini Arius. And like... I, that starts at 700 but I feel like the upper echelon of that is like 1200 maybe 15 but like 4400 I'd easily put that in like a college fund for my kid or or an investment fund for the dividends or or a camera body and lens to to make to make videos for you guys you know what I mean damn it's so crazy holy <laughs> $4,400 is crazy. Easy, Easy E says, can't even imagine the money. I mean, seriously, for real. Easy just started buying knives over $100. Hey, welcome to the club, man. Welcome to the club. It's a, it's a good feeling. Not for your wallet, but it's a good feeling when you've like broken the, the budget knife level and you're like, I, I need something more or like I'm interested in something more. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to convince myself I should spend 350 on a knife says Barbarian Brawny. Oof, what knife? What knife? We'll close out the chat on that. What knife? What's the next knife you guys are all trying to buy? What's the next knife y'all are trying to buy? I personally don't know. I think like the Koenig mini areas for me, if I were to like straight up save and not have anything to spend on, anything else to spend on, I'd probably spend on that. That or like, hmm dare i say an oz an oz rosy i don't know man <laughs> i don't know man Oof. most expensive knife i bought was for someone else most expensive pocket knife is a bossy thunderbird hey the thunderbird is legit though fook like the the thunderbird is solid like all tie button lock so many ways to open and it's it's a real flipper it's a real flipper oh mikey the small and cozy okay okay i understand i understand i think someone else mentioned it earlier in the chat you hit you hit up chris yet <laughs> you can't hit up chris valadez is gonna hook you up uh miguel says once you buy crk crk becomes addicting i just bought about four in the last six months oh congrats dude i'm happy i'm happy you're comfortable at, uh, with where you're at in life to to buy four of those in the last six months let's go <laughs> squiddy says my most expensive knife is my sabenza really eyeing an areas too yes i don't know something about the areas it's just so aerodynamic it's beautiful like can we can we see like what's available right now like koenig areas i don't know i held the areas and then i also held the mini areas and i think honestly i'm a fan of the mini look at that just the lines on it is beautiful 490 bucks I know it's out of stock, but what? 490 bucks? I feel like someone's lying to me. I feel like someone's lying to me. 490 bucks. Yeah, see, these are like 1600. There you go. See? 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 So this is Arizona Custom Knives. This wouldn't be Broke Arizona Knives, would it? <laughs> Broke Arizona Knives? Are you in the chat? Is this your store? Would you mind sending me some of these for review? <laughs> the Arius non-flipper. Is this the flipper delete or is it a fixed Arius? <laughs> Look at these colors, these finishes. Damn. Mini Arius, smooth teal camo, 17. 
That's... That hurts. I'm waiting for the perfect Jack Wolf Knife Bolster Lock to come out. A design I will not be able to deny. Says, Kate, says Jason Cable. Nice. Nice. I think it's coming. I think it's coming. He's starting to exper experiment with, like, flippers. So, I think it's a matter of time. Miguel says 490. Wow, if only. Right? Like, I have not seen a an Arius for anything below 700 anywhere. <laughs> Broke Arizona Knife says, I wish. Ah, yikes. Yeah. Shucks. I had hopes. I had hopes. Two out of the three words were right. Arizona Knives. <laughs> Mike and ZDC says, just picked up the Benchmade 940 Osborne. I also want the Benchmade Bailout and a CRK. Ooh, the Bailout is actually, you reminded me of the Bailout. That's actually a good candidate. I held one in the hands a few a few months back, and I really enjoyed it, like, over the bug out. So I think if I were to choose between the bug out or the Bailout, I'd probably go for the Bailout. The reverse, or not reverse, not sorry, a Tonto Bailout. I saw a small Sabenza for $750. Yikes. Cry, cry face throw those rip emoji emojis in the chat jesus <laughs> oh man carl says thanks ron great session looking forward to your next live stream best regards and be well you too man take care man thank you for coming through i appreciate you man i need me a spartan harsey says broke arizona nice let's check that out uh what, what did i just say spartan harsey whoa it looks cool. What is all the, what is all the graphics on there? Is that custom? You can compare them. Let's go. That looks cool. Can I click through? I want to click through. Why is this so magnified? Is this just the site? Or is it me? No, it's the site. The site is just super magnified. <laughs> A frame lock. Oh, where are the stats? I guess I have to read through all this. Oh, here we go. Four inch blade, black PVD finish, CPM magna cut. Hey, there you go. Titanium frame. Nice. Looks solid, man. That freaking pivot is huge. <laughs> Massively huge. Paul says second Rosie coming tomorrow. Congrats, Paul. That's dope. Congrats to you. That looks fun. I'm going to regress and buy cheaper and cheaper knives as Ian. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling that too. Like, I want to explore budget knives and see what's really and see what's really there, you know, for people who are just starting their knife journey or just don't have the money for a, a $490 Arius. <laughs> Mullen Labe, what's up everyone? How do we enter? You're a little late, my guy. You're a really you're a little late. We already we already passed that giveaway out. But you did win an awesome Orbit key giveaway. So, you're probably enjoying that those Orbi key goods right now as we speak. If I get my small and cozy, I'm sending it off to get murdered out, said Mikey. Ooh, let's go. What are you going to do to it? We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for enjoying this night with me and hanging out with me on this Liver Purpose live stream session. I hope you guys had a good time. I sure did. And we gave away a dope. We gave away a dope little patch. Pouch. Patches, pouch, pouch, Re's, whatever you want to say. Easy E's, easy E45 won this thing. Congrats to you. Hope you enjoy that thing. We'll get that sent out to you promptly. Have a great night, you guys. Have some dinner. Get some shut eye. I know I'm going to have some dinner. Until next time, by the way, next week, Wednesday, there won't be a live stream. I'm going to be out of town. So, um, you know, we'll pick up right where we left off the week after. And it's going to be a good time. We've got some awesome stuff planned for future live streams. But thank you guys for tuning in. We'll have some content coming out real soon. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Live with purpose. Peace.